not my nails I'm actually in the beauty blender what's up baddies welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is jay does it and today we're going to be reviewing ysl's new bare look tint foundation so if you guys would like to see what it's all about and how i feel about it stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me okay period okay so i'm going to start off with my fenty beauty soft matte pro filter instant retouch primer Oh, this is why I hate doing brows first. Cause I hate working around brows. Okay, so this is as good as it's gonna get. So now let's get into the foundation. So the foundation we're gonna be using today is the YSL New Bare Look Tint Foundation. And I got this foundation in the shade 19. Now I fade match fade matched i shade matched myself online and i was shade matching yourself online is so complicated because you don't know the real depiction of the photos you don't know if it's extra vibrancy you don't know if it's super cool you know so i got the shade 19 hoping it'll be my shade and i think the shade is a little like dark i think i should have went with the shade 18 but this is what we got you all so with this foundation i think i'm gonna do one side with my brush and the other side with my beauty blender and i'll tell you guys about the foundation while i'm working on my face so as i said this is like a skin tint foundation or a tint foundation so it's not as heavy so as you can see it's not too dark but it's definitely darker than what i would normally go for but also i'd rather go for a darker foundation than a lighter foundation because we don't want to look casket ready so it says that this foundation is a lightweight skin tint with hyaluronic acid and buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh dewy complexion so you guys know i do have oily skin so the dewiness we're gonna be scared about we're still gonna test it out so i'm gonna do this side with my brush so on the YSL website, it says that this is a flexible multitasking skin tint that has a water cream texture for 24 hour hydration and leaves the skin naturally enhanced with a radiant finish infused with glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and brightening mallow. This makeup moisturizer hybrid melts into the complexion for an effortless no makeup look. Ooh, you know we love the no makeup makeup looks. Okay, I didn't do too bad with the brush. My blemishes aren't as um prominent, but you still can kind of see them. They're not like all the way covered up. But I wouldn't give this like, what it does say light to medium coverage and it's buildable. This to me is like medium coverage. It's not really light because you can't really see the dark marks, but you can, you know? So on the other side, I'm gonna be going in with my beauty blender. This is from the crayon case. And I'm gonna use this to blend in this side. And we'll see the difference. So it says that the hyaluron ooh okay so as you guys can see it's doing such a lighter coverage like this is way lighter but that's because the sponge is soaking up most of the foundation and it's also not covering up my burn scar for my hot comb so yeah, there's definitely a difference with the application between the two. I wonder if I go over this, will it shear it out like this side? Okay, I guess that's what it is, your skin, but better. As you can see, you can still see the marks throughout my skin. But it's not like, ah! So it says the hyaluronic acid is in there to help plump and moisturize the skin glycerin is included to help trap that moisture into your skin and then the mallow like i read before is to help brighten the skin i don't know if it's overtime brightening 
but it does say visibly brightening so i don't know if it just makes your skin appear brighter or you know on all the specifics this is really cute i like this this is giving skin tint but but more definitely giving the vibe of your skin but better I think I'm gonna go in with another round. Or should I? I'm going with another round. Don't you be holding back your love. Don't you be holding bark. Okay, I probably put too much on that side because we ain't even need that much. We ain't even need all that. So I'm gonna just pat that in to see if we can build that up. So this foundation does retail for $38 and it does come in 20 shades. The shade I got is the second to the last shade. But yeah, it's not many shades. Uh, they could do, they definitely could do better with the shade range, but you know. But I don't think it's a bad shade match. If I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera. It's not much darker than my chest. Not my chest, my neck. But it is a lot darker than my chest. But as I've stated before, my chest is so much darker than my neck and my arms not my nails matching the beauty blender so this is what she looks like she looks pretty popular it's definitely giving radiant because the soft is it soft matte Yes, I didn't even know that was a mattifying primer, but it's a soft matte primer, but I'm still giving radiant. I'm not mad at it though. We're not mad. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the rest of my face and I'll be right back when I'm finished. And I will be sure to list down everything that I'm using down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. Okay, so baddies, this is the completed look. I did my face how I usually always do it. Nothing really changed, but the lashes and the lippy. Okay. I didn't set it with a powder foundation because I wanted to see like the true, you know, the true foundation. I wanted to see the real them, the real her. So the time is now, what time is it? Oh, not the email. Okay. The time is now 11.08 in the morning. So I'm going to try to do like an eight hour wear test to see like how this foundation will hold up like during like a normal work day. You know? So I will be back, ladies. What's up, baddies? So I'm back. I believe when I finished my face, the time was 11, and now it's 9 p.m. in the evening. That's a nine-hour wear test. I feel like this, I say this all the time, my face does not look bad. I can't complain about it. I did leave the house today. It wasn't as hot as it usually is. 85, 88 degrees today, so it wasn't unbearable. But I could feel that something was on my face. Like, I always felt like my makeup and it is actually so right here i felt like it was just moving around so like you can see like a lot of it has actually came off because this was covered up and i feel like a lot of my dark marks are a lot more visible i'm not sure if y'all can see it if my camera i'm not sure if my camera is picking up what i'm trying to put down but you can definitely see a lot of my spots that's getting more visible. I had on my glasses, so I got my glasses marked. I tried not to touch my face up as I would usually do because I wanted to show you guys the true performance of the foundation. So it's definitely not like one of those long wearing foundations that will like cold you down throughout the day. I do think this is a good everyday foundation. It makes your skin look healthy, vibrant, youthful, glowy. I really do wish I was able to try out the primer and the setting spray for this but I tried to match up what I already had with what kind of products they were offering for this foundation. So hopefully these would have yielded the same results. Hopefully. <laughs> My skin is giving the your skin but better vibe. If y'all can see what I'm seeing like you can see the imperfections for sure for sure but it looks like oh my god her skin is so beautiful so baddies that's the end of this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and until next time bye